Competition Game. That's right. To score the highest scores possible in Vex Skyrise, you're going to be building your own goals. That is. I think that may actually be taller than you, Carmen. Let's find out just how much that sky rise is worth on the video. Introducing 2014-2015 Vex Robotics Competition with Vex Skyrise. Vex Skyrise is played on the 12 foot by 12 foot field by two alliances, one red and one blue, each made up of two teams. The object of the game is to attain a higher score of the opposing alliance by building a Skyrise and scoring your color cues. Skyrises are built from Skyrise sections, which are placed one at a time for four points each. Color cubes are scored in floor goals for one point each. Cubes can also be scored on posts for two points each. In addition, at the end of a match, each team earns ownership points for every post on which they have the highest cube. For big points, you can score cubes on your alliance's Skyrise for four points each. There are a total of 44 cubes, 22 red, 
and 22 blue available in the game. Four of these cubes must be preloaded on or in robots at the start of the match. Each alliance can also put seven Skyrise sections into play during a match. These can be placed one at a time into their team's auto -lander. The field contains a total of 10 posts of varying heights for scoring attached to the field perimeter walls. In each alliance's starting tile area is one Skyrise base. Each match begins with a 15 second autonomous period where robots score without help from the drivers. The alliance that scores more points in the autonomous period is awarded 10 bonus points, added to the final score at the end of the match. The 1 minute 45 second driver control period begins once the autonomous period bonus winner has been determined. At the end of the driver control period, after all objects and robots have come to rest, the match will be scored to determine the winning alliance. For detailed rules and game information on VEX Skyrise, see the official rules at roboticseducation.org or vexrobotics.com. And be sure to visit the VEX forum's office for all the latest updates. Best wishes to all teams for a great season. Oh, it looks like the game design yeah, community is some huge incredible challenges I was thinking the next game. I know you all want to come on this game right now and check these fields out. But you can't. If you want to take the fields, head on out to the convention hall where we have a full field set up for you to enjoy it. If you went across from the RBC store in Jadden next to the Hexbug display, they're going to be up all day tomorrow just so you can take a look at these new games up close. But folks, don't get too caught up on High Rise and Sky Rise yet. <laughs> At least not the 750 teams here. The other 10,000 teams across the world, they're going to get a one-day head start to sign their robots for these new games. Because the 750 teams here have some unfinished business. That's right. We're back here tomorrow. The last day of the 2014-2015 Vex Robotics competition season. 2013-14, rather, folks. Come on, keep it real here. By this time tomorrow, all of the division awards and trophies will have been earned. Our 2014 Programming Skills Champion, our 2014 Robot Skills Champion, our 2014 Elementary and Middle School Vex IQ Challenge World Champions, so much hard work, our 2014 Middle School, High School, and Vex U World Champions, and our 2014 World Championship Excellence Award winners and our newest members of the STEM Hall of Fame. Guys, it's going to be hashtag epic. <laughs> I know these people. I use Twitter. I know these people are going to continue strategizing and scouting until tomorrow. You've got a lot of work to do tonight. So make sure you get some rest, you figure out what you're doing, you make your pick list, you come back here tomorrow so we can rock the best stone, folks. Have